Ray tracing in Minecraft is one of the coolest things I have seen in Minecraft like in the last year. It adds the ability to have super duper realistic lights and shadows inside of your world, including like this shadow right here. It's like this fence connects to this wall and this furnace outputs the light that's bouncing all over the place. Oh, it's amazing. There's been a lot of noise about Minecraft with RTX, which is a NVIDIA sort of program uh, hardware and, and software and everything but it is locked down to nvidia graphics cards that have the rtx logo on them and it is rather expensive also you can only do this in the bedrock version of the game so minecraft windows 10 edition and we are doing all of this in java baby so let me show you how to do it before we jump into the explanation big thank you to those of you who are members of the channel you of course can be a subscriber for free and i love you subscribers thank you so much for hitting that sub button but if you've clicked that join button and learned more about how you can support the channel you guys absolutely rock if you're interested you get access to my minecraft survival multiplayer server that is java edition only sorry for those of you who are on bedrock so hit the join button to learn more thanks so much to those of you who are already members so here we are inside of minecraft and there's i feel like i need to do a little bit of an explanation before we get into exactly how to get all of this first off ray tracing in minecraft what is it is it different than a shader pack yes and it's i mean it is a shader pack still what's going on here is ray tracing is a new way Way to render scenes render frames that are put together to make the video game uh, using light and so in a normal situation you might just like have a texture and maybe a little bit of illumination on it but with ray tracing there's a simulated ray of light that would sort of bounce around and back towards the supposed camera that is the you know the player's view and then that will help render the image that you actually see and there's been a lot of noise about minecraft with rtx which is nvidia's version of this and those graphics cards have physical differences in them that make ray tracing a little bit easier on the system they have like even like artificial intelligence cores that are like help upscale images i mean it's kind of crazy stuff but obviously buying a new graphics card just to experience ray tracing is a little bit of overkill in most people's opinions so we are running a shader pack in java not in the bedrock edition of the game a nvidia rtx graphics card is not required it will work with nvidia graphics cards it will work with nvidia rtx graphics cards and it'll even work with amd graphics cards although it's not as good on an amd graphics card but it'll still work with it a few requirements in order to pull this off you need to be running optifine which has shader packs basically already installed on them and at the moment as of recording this video you would have to be in minecraft version 1.14 in order to pull that off also you need to be running a very specific shader pack yes i said shader pack there haven't been renamed to ray tracing packs yet but this shader pack is not free we are using sonic ether's unbelievable shaders and then the ptgi here path traced global illumination that's what ptgi stands for and in order to get this shader pack you need to support sonic ether over on patreon the lowest level that you can support him at the moment by the way this might change in the future i don't know maybe i'll give it away in the future but at the moment the support tier is is a $10 a month tier. So you do need to do that in order to actually get this ray traced shader pack. Also, like I mentioned, 1.14 Java edition and a PC. So if you're on a console, sorry, uh, but uh, this is not gonna work for you. So the list again is that you need Optifine 1.14 with shader packs already installed and the actual shader pack from Sonic Ether 
here. So first, let's start off with Optifine. Head to Optifine.net. This is a very popular and very well-known add-on to Minecraft. And here it is, the 1.14 version. There are some preview versions, but that is not something that we can use at the moment. Uh, we're gonna need this F5 version. So you can either download it from here or download the mirror, whatever you want. After you download it, almost any browser is gonna let you know there's, this is a jar file, which is just a Java executable basically in, in a way. And so it can be like scary to download this. So it's gonna ask you, you sure you wanna do it? And you're gonna say, yep, keep it. Make sure that Minecraft is shut down in the background. And once this is fully downloaded, you can just basically click it and it will run. If it doesn't run, right click it, say open with and then Java. And if you don't have Java installed on your computer, how have you been playing Minecraft? After you've opened it up, it'll look something like this. This path is your .minecraft folder. It will be the default location, but if for some reason you've changed the default and your .minecraft folder is in a different location, make sure you change this path right here. If everything's good, just click install and then it'll run through and let you know that everything's gone A-OK. -okay. Optifine is successfully installed. Over here in the Minecraft launcher, you'll just click this and Optifine should be an option for you and then just play that. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and let it run because the next step we can do with Minecraft open. Ooh, Minecraft, how I love you. Now head on over to sonicether.com uh, and this will be what the website looks like and you'll have to support over on Patreon. And my cat is destroying my entire house. Now I'm already a member, so it looks different to me. So just open this up in an incognito window, ooh la la. And this is what it'll look like to you. You can check out the different tiers, but as you can see on the $10 tier, this includes what we want, the Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders with the path traced global illumination. And so that is what you're gonna need. So go ahead and click join there, fill out all the information, I'll link your discord if you need to and it'll be in the posts after you support you'll notice here on my page because i am already a member you'll see different posts so this is about e13 another one about e13 but this one has download in the title and it also includes a zip for you to download so this is what you're going to want to download that zip switching back over to a minecraft once you have that zip downloaded head on over to your options area and because you are hopefully running uh, Optifine, which is, uh, there you go. I was like, where is it? There, It's under video settings. You'll see what Optifine version you're running in the corner there. Uh, you should have a shaders button as long as everything is going according to plan. Click that shaders button. And I already have a huge list of shaders installed, but yours will probably be internal or off. Those are the two options you'll have. But right here, there's a shaders folder button. Just go ahead and click that. That will open up a new window for a, just an explorer window. And right here, this is where you will take that zip that you downloaded from Patreon and put it right here. And you can see that I already, I already have a few different versions, but this E12 version, that was the most recent version. So that is where you are going to drop that. Once you add that in there, you'll probably hit done and then go back to shaders just to reload this list. And then it'll be there and you can select it. Over on the Patreon, there are also some tips for what settings you need to have inside of Optifine, like say shadow quality one or old lighting set to default. You're gonna have to follow that list of things depending on what version of the shader pack it is on. So just make sure you read that and do those steps. Now go ahead and load up Minecraft in whatever world you want and take a look at these amazing shaders, which is actually including ray tracing inside of this shader. But you may notice that it's not maybe just as amazing as the video was in the beginning. So here I am kind of just looking through some stuff. I do have that really cool sort of bouncing stuff, but the, the ground looks a little different. All of these textures just seem just slightly a, a bit different. That's because I used a texture pack sort of to enhance the whole experience as well. I guess I should say resource pack, but it's just a normal resource pack. So he head on over here to your resource packs folder. And I used this hard top vanilla accurate. There's a whole bunch of different resource packs that work really well with the shader packs. 
And a lot of them introduce something called PBR, physically based rendering. And that in my layman's terms of understanding basically adds like bump maps to everything. So it looks a lot more dynamic and it can also add just some texture in a whole bunch of different areas. One of the ones that I really like is the glass. It'll make glass a little bit less perfect. And then it also adds like this shininess here on the obsidian that is added because of the resource pack. And you can see sort of the, the glass has this really nice texture to it. And then also over here, you can see that there's shadows in this sand. But if I set the time to say noon, then the shadows go away because the sun has moved and there's like this bump map on it so that it, it adds a lot more sort of dynamicness. And so you can see this, this oh, it's so, it's, it's so shiny because it's smooth stone, it's shiny stone. But if I was to turn that resource pack off, it's sort of back to its normal look. Although there is still ray tracing going on, it doesn't seem as impressive. Like so the glass is it's just too it's just too perfect where I want I want weird glass. Also make sure you jump into any some water just to kind of oh, oh it looks so good. And then I'll add the resource pack back on and oh it looks it looks even better. Oh I love it. If you would like to get this resource pack, it's at vanillaaccurate.space. Not dot com, but dot space. Like my space. In the future, I really, really want to do a video about sort of the differences between this ray tracing sort of implementation versus what RTX does with their ray tracing implementation and sort of directly compare the two because as you can see, it's definitely ray tracing. There's definitely that going on, but I feel like a lot of people sort of give RTX a, a hard time. I haven't even tested it, so I really want to. I wanna to test to see just how different these two implementations of ray tracing are. And there you have it, how to get ray tracing in Minecraft without the use of RTX. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. Links to everything that I discussed will be in the description down below so that you guys can easily just click around and find it without pausing the video and Googling for it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a big old thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights. And once again, huge thank you to those of you who have become members on the channel. You guys rock. See you in the next video. Bye.